Chris, an LRI from the Peachtree and North Carolina districts. And I'm Emily, an LRI from the New England First District. We're going to cover how pneumatics are checked as part of your inspection. If a robot doesn't have pneumatics, it just doesn't apply to you. The first thing that inspectors will do is check to ensure that you have only one compressor on the robot and that it is powered correctly. R805 has a list of all the required components for the pneumatic system. Per R812, inspectors will also check to ensure that teams have either the pneumatic hub or the pneumatics control module to control the pneumatics and compressor. Teams must have a vent plug valve that is easily accessible per R813 to allow someone to release all system pressure. Inspectors will also check to ensure the robot has a proper pressure switch wired correctly per R812. Robots must have a pressure gauge on the high or storage pressure side of the main regulator and one on the low or working pressure side of the regulator. Finally, there should be no modifications to any of the pneumatics components per R803 and all components should be rated for the appropriate pressure for R802. Thanks for watching this video on the pneumatic systems section of the inspection checklist. Be sure to watch the other videos to learn how the rest of the inspection process works and especially the Power On video where we cover the pneumatics pressure check. Good luck and we'll see you at the inspections.